then I hate Rice Krispies. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the worst cereal. It's and it's the, literally the worst they cereal. They tried to do like vanilla and chocolate and shit. It's like, I don't care what you do to it. It's not going to be I'm good. I'm still not going to enjoy this I'm cereal. I'm still going to fucking hate it. Thanks. I fucking hate it. Okay. So this is one of the coolest things that this game does is the psychology warming. Because... It, straight up, the game profiles you while you're playing it. Mm -hmm. The cops are here to stop us from playing scary games at Christmas time. Amber lamps, it's driving real fast. <laughs> like, I know they go fast, but that one was fucking cruising. Ripping. Um, so yeah, basically, like, as you move through space in this game, the game creates a profile for you as you're playing it. And so the the monsters change and the Oh, but puzzles. you've already played it, so you already know. Oh, I have, yeah. But I, I love this game and I want to play it with you because I love like you. Like if somebody else played it, it, it would profile them differently. Like if I played it, it, it would be like a shock. Where it's not going to be a shock to you. You already know how the game sees you. Well, it depends on the playthrough. You should play like right? a psychopath. You should play like you're like a fucking 40 on the psychopath trait um, mm. quiz. Sure. Like you should just play like you're nuts. Um, it, it's, it's not like that though. It's like the things that draw your attention because it's super open-ended. There's like uh, split paths all over the place and nothing is highlighted more so than anything else. Well, then you're probably always going to end up the same because the same things are going to catch your interest. Well, but but it's, it's literally about like what you're looking at and what you're focusing on. Okay. And so like if you are spending time collecting things that will influence your playthrough and like it does a lot of cool stuff this cool, game. cool cool let's play the game welcome back to the marathon of misfit toys it's scott and reyna and for the first time ever we're playing silent hill I'm, shattered memories i'm playing a silent hill game on the channel if you know scott you know scott's got an obsession with silent hill my favorite and yeah it's pretty cool we all we should all be familiar with oh that was butts with Silent Hill? That was my first playthrough. If you don't know what Silent Hill is, you're living under a rock. Um, so Shattered Memories is really interesting because it's a retelling of Silent Hill 1. Mm -hmm. So it's Harry Mason, it's his daughter, it's uh, Sybil, the cop, it's... But everything's different. So what, what should we name our profile? Let's call it uh, Schmores. I like it. Excellent. Schmores. Oh, wait. Delete. There we go. Schmores. Cool. Yeah. Right. Hey, Schmores. Yes, I do wish to save. So, I, basically, one of the Western companies that made Silent Hill games, I th it, this wasn't Helix, this was um, a different company that, that uh, developed this one, but... Uh, basically, they were like, let's do Silent Hill 1 again, but let's try a new aesthetic, because Silent Hill is is dead, tired, bored of, uh, you know, the blood and rust aesthetic. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just See, like... this was filmed on a potato. Right? My God. Um, and I actually have more to say about that as well, but, um... They were like, the blood and the rust and the chains and the walls peeling, like, we've done it a million times. Let's Sexual try something. Attention. Hey, well, I'm not sure if I... <laughs> um, but uh, they decided that they wanted to do a 180 and, and pick something completely different. So they went with a snow and ice. Thing. Cool, I want to get into it, you know? Mm. I don't want to hear about it, I want to see it. Show me the play. <laughs> so, this has got one of the best voice acting moments, I think. Same. <laughs> so this was directed by Tom Hewlett, and he was the guy responsible for Silent Hill Down 4 and the HD re release that's really bad. Um, that's busted as f fuck. Uh, so thanks, Tom. You're also the reason that corn exists in Silent Hill games. <laughs> like the, the band. Okay. Corn with a K. I love my <laughs> <laughs> Is she gonna say I love my daddy again? Climax, there we go. Yeah, it's it literally just plays this while like on loop while the, the credits roll in. Yeah, she love her daddy. What the fuck is my wife doing? <laughs> 
probably thinking about other men. Um, so yeah, w w one other cool thing that the game does is it uses this framing device of um, you in first person speaking to this guy. He's a psychologist, and he's like asking you psychology. You can tell he's a psychologist because he has a drinking problem. He has a wet bar in his office. So like, you know, you, you gotta drink to be doing that job. Also, thank you to Salad Bars for making it so that anytime we're talking about a bar, we now have to call it a wet bar. It's <laughs> just a bar. Man, I love the little, like, um, tongs with the ice. I just think that's, like, an aesthetic, you know? It's such a mood. Like, I just want to pick up my ice with my tongs. Um, but yeah, it, it's it, Until Dawn did a similar thing where, like, each um, chapter is sort of sandwiched by this psychologist speaking to you and you don't actually know who he is, it's all in first person. Maybe I could talk to him about my hatred for Rice Krispies. Maybe he would listen. Maybe he would. Maybe he'd have something to say. You know what though, those chocolate Rice yes. Krispies, they do make really good crispy squares. Oh, I was gonna say, I bet those fuck fine. in a bar. They do, like, like if, you, if you make like a tray of crispy squares with chocolate Rice Krispies, mm -hmm. they are. See, that's, that's the next one. Mm, doing the Italian hand. Oh, yeah. Oh, Harry. <clears throat> so, one other just, like, game thing about this game. This originally came out for the Wii in 2007. And the puzzles and the gameplay all kind of rely on, like, Wii motion controls, like pointing the controller. And then it, three years later, got ported to the PlayStation 2? after the PlayStation 4 had already been out for two years? This is a conspiracy theory. Stay tuned. It's, Scott will talk about it some other time. It's fucking wild. I'll, I'm going to make a whole video about this because it is absolutely bizarre. You came. Just turning up shows your commitment your to the process. Your commitment to the process of understanding your hatred of Rice Krispies. I'm here. You know, you're expensive, but I'm here. I've read your notes. He's got, the other like, Richard Gere vibes. Yeah, you were the cheapest guy I could find. Mm. I want you to know this Ooh. will be different. We take this at your pace. My pace? He's probably like already oh, drunk. It's just like... Oh yeah, no, like the... No theories. The wet bar's back there. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> I'm, I'm drunk already, he, so... He poured that drink canonically just before I showed up. I can help you. Take a look at no, no worries. Oh. Hell yeah! Time for psychiatry. Oh, how sweet. Yeah, what's your problem? Try to answer truthfully. It's easier that way. All right. I make friends easily? Nope. I do. Oh, so we're, we're doing you. Having a drink helps me relax. No. Sure. I always listen to other people's yes. feelings. This is true of me. I prefer abstract ideas. Yes, I do. Oh, fuck yeah. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna, yeah. <laughs> Working to a plan or schedule is best. I'm kind of free for Yeah. I have oh, never I cheated have. on a partner. I have not cheated on a partner. I haven't. I was just joking, but... <laughs> <laughs> I'm currently cheating on my partner. Oh, what a development. <laughs> Never cheated on a partner. Really, really, Scott? Really? Really. Okay. Good. Haven't ever. You're a good man. Charlie Brown. You're a loyal, loyal man. Back off, ladies. <laughs> Let's get started. So, it's kind of weird about how the way that the game performs is because the same year that it got ported to the PlayStation 2, it also got ported to the PlayStation Portable. And I kind of think that, like, the quality of the graphics leads me to believe that this is the PSP version, not the Wii version. Mm. <laughs> Cheryl. No, oh, Cheryl. Cheryl. Sweetie? One day you'll be in a really bad movie. Oh, my God. And then a really, really bad movie. Cheryl? See, this has got some Cheryl? real proper 2010 jank on it. This game's almost 10 years old now. Cheryl! Sharon! Look at... <laughs> what's it? In, um... In... Oh, uh... Heavy Rain, the the Jason button, you press X to, to Jason, and he's just like, <laughs> Jason! <laughs> Jason! <laughs> oh, wait. I think... Cheryl? Yeah. I, I have press X to Cheryl right now. Cheryl? Cheryl? Cheryl! Sharon! I can't find my glasses, Sharon! Oh god, that's a deep cut. Um, so yeah, you can see, like, the one joystick just controls, like, his uh, line of sight. And so, like, 
the flashlight kind of is the indicator. Mm -hmm. That one to one, that's a PlayStation, or sorry, that's a, a Nintendo Wii game. Is this mechanic. snow or ash? Uh, this is snow. Wow, there's something more ominous than a dark winter night sweetie. in the snow. She ain't, sweetie, you in here? <laughs> you into that car? You doing mechanical Cheryl. work? Sh Sh Cheryl, are you Sh getting a, your ticket as a mechanic? Cheryl, did you start mechanics? Cheryl. Cheryl, Cheryl you sneaky slime oh. bitch, where are you? Dang it. Ooh. Oh, maybe she is. A happy family. Gotta find Cheryl. Oh, do I? Gotta find Cheryl. Do I got to? I won't even call her name for ten minutes. Also, I crashed a car and hopped a fence, so I don't know how likely it is that she's actually over it. Like, she's a is child. Is Cheryl's work? Is she a mechanic? Uh, Cheryl is, like, that girl in the opening scene. She's, like, 11 years old. Is this her daddy? Yeah. This is him. So she's a mechanic? She's a child. She's an infant. Oh. Uh, he... I thought we fast forwarded. No, no. He crashed the car and, oh, and lost um, Cheryl. suddenly his daughter is not in Typical the back. Typical Silent Hill moment. Right? I mean, that's literally like the start of Silent Hill 1, so. Yeah. Yeah. But um, I like how in this game they very clearly like redesigned Harry Mason to. Someone died on that toilet. Ugh. Um, they redesigned Harry to look more like your sort of Stephen King type and because he's supposed to be a writer in this one right and so he's uh he's very clearly supposed to have stephen king vibes because of like exactly cheryl how look away daddy's gonna pee cheerleader whore Cammy. cheerleader whore that's what they called me oh just kidding i didn't do cheerleading sweetie <laughs> oh well, and people were getting murdered left right and center in these bathrooms this is not a good or they were shitting their guts out Probably that one. I'm the worst person to have on this channel. I'm so sorry. You are the most prominently featured person on this channel next to Benjamin. <laughs> so 10 out of 10 in my opinion. Aw, that's nice. Aw, you make videos with me. Aw. 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 Okay. So gay. Oh yeah, I've got a brisk trot button. Where's Cheryl? Where's my daughter? So this is the level of, um, uh, imagine this on a Wii. Like you're pointing at, right? Mm -hmm. And then you're like, okay, pull that out. And then you're like, slatteroo. That's the level of puzzle in this game. Like it's very basic, but on the Wii, it super works. Wild. And then in this game, it's just like, well, now I'm using joysticks and it seems really fucking weird that this is how this game plays. Oof, that audio sting. So, I, uh, because uh, Climax is the game, uh, company that developed this one, it wasn't the original Team Silent, I don't actually think they got Akira Yamaoka to come back and do the music. Mm -hmm. But one thing that I think is super strong about this game is the music sounds very Silent Hill. Like Yeah, they just had one person press like two keys over and over. That, that uh, melancholic sort of piano music. Mm -hmm. like it's it's so Silent Hill. All right, hold on. We got Teresa's Dress Shop, and we got some sort of something. I think these are branching. Where, sh where do you think I should go? Run! Teresa's? Horse, run to Teresa's. Want me to go to the dress shop? Go to the dress shop. Oh, God. Every little girl wants a dress. No, that's that's, not true. that's probably where my daughter is. Cheryl, you trying on dresses, honey? So, you know, I'm glad you picked Teresa's dress shop because the last time I played this, I know I picked the other one, and it's like a uh, like a videography shop, and so I've actually never been in this area. <laughs> well, I heard something. Yeah. Is that a sneeze? It was like. Bleh! Formal dress, good as new, worn wow, once. How pretty. Nice dress. Nice, nice dress. <laughs> Daughter Cheryl, if I could find her. We got some, Cheryl, come some back. girls dressing river dance, ten dollars each. All right. Cheryl, why'd you leave my baby? Ooh. She didn't mean no. Oh. Hey Teresa, I gotta head off now, so I'm locking up. That woman came in, decided to sell the dress, walked all the way here on her own. She seemed so sad, I almost didn't want to take it. Well, then why did you? Oh, well. Anyway, I locked up back as well. I stuck the key in Jane's jacket. Take care. Okay, so I know that there's a key in Jane's jacket. 
Uh, also, yeah, very handy, like, user interface. When I'm not looking directly at a thing, there's, like, an indicator. Yeah. So it's like, you're definitely going to need this. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. Is there no lights in these buildings? Like... Uh, if there were lights in these buildings, it wouldn't be very spooky. Right, but it's just not realistic, you know? No, I agree. Is this someone's home? Uh, it's looking like maybe Teresa might live here. She don't clean up. Um, yeah, I guess, I mean, we kind of, I, I went way past this, but we're playing the, oh shit. Which one do we think is her dress or her coat? I'm gonna say the red one. You think so? Or the blue one. Nope. Oh, pocket. Oh. Yeah, zipper. Ah Get the key. All right. Um, so yeah, we're playing the PlayStation 2 version of this game, as I'm sure you've picked up on at this point, because uh, it's way easier to do a microphone recording of a game when you're not flailing a fucking Wii remote all over the fucking place. Yeah, that's true. It's very true. Reminder, the key's in Jane's we don't have jacket. A uh, we do, actually. Well, we don't use it. Yeah, we don't. We don't. Uh, the last time I used the Wii in this uh, apartment was playing Cooking Mama with Lucas. Oh, man. <laughs> Which is a great fucking game, don't get me wrong. Is Cheryl in the dumpster? Cheryl! Let the bodies hit Cheryl! the floor. Cheryl! All uh, right, cool. Um, I'm so excited to be playing the first Silent Hill game on the channel. Finally. Like, I don't think I'm impressive enough to do Silent Hill 2 yet, because that game is very important. But, like, Shattered Memories, I'm comfortable with you. <laughs> yeah, you gotta do you, you know? Yeah. Um, what was one of... Oh, yeah, uh, Ben and Eve got married. Uh, that we talked about already, but, um, you know, good for them, whatever. <laughs> um... They, it was a lovely ceremony. They are lovely. They are very much in love and everybody's very happy. Everything went off without a hitch, which is not common for weddings. Typically something goes wrong. Um, 37 to 40 people oh. uh, came by the desk that I share with Ben today at work uh, just to say, Good job on the wedding. And I didn't realize any of these people even... Ben looked really tired today. He definitely did. Yeah, he looked like he hadn't slept. I'm sure he hadn't. Benjamin, go to bed. Ben's one of those, like... There we go. Uh, ben lives approximately a ten minute walk away from the uh, office that we all share. And he will not take early shifts because he just doesn't like getting out of bed in the morning. Like, he he is a night owl. And I get it. Like, you know? I, I don't want to be at work past, like, 7. Right? If I have to be at work later than 7, I'm not happy. Look at this completely realistic wall of snow. <laughs> and, I mean, I'm blessed because I haven't had that so far, but, like... Mm -hmm. We got a week of that coming up, you and I. I know. We have to be there late but then we also just got both of us confirmed a week of super duper early starts with each other yes yeah, so we have to get out of bed fucking early to go to be to go to work early to deal with people early this is all correct but then we're off early so that's yeah we get to go home early so that's cool. pretty good so they went ahead and they took uh police officer shpd uh officer sybil and they made her into, like, a regular-shaped human being in this game. Okay. Because in the original game, she was a horrible monster of polygons because it was a PlayStation 1 game. Right. And uh, in the movie, you she's okay, played so? by the actress who played Andrea in The Walking Dead. Yeah. Out. Yeah. So I'm also a horrible monster of polygons. <laughs> Take a seat. Like, he basically looks like Alan Wake, and Alan Wake is literally just Stephen King. We were in a car accident. When I came to, she was gone. Maybe she went to get help. She a clever girl? Sensible? Yeah. She's so. Seven. She's a, she's a fucking she's idiot. She's not 11, she's yeah, seven. I, I got that wrong. That's she's my She's young bad. as fuck. She's a, a small one. Harry she don't know what she's doing. 
Hey, it's me, Harry Levin Mason. Street. I'm the main character of such classic video games as Your Silent Hill. Says you live on Levin Street. That's a few blocks from here. Maybe she went out. Street. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I hit my head. I bonked uh -huh. my head real bad when I crashed my car. Oh, okay, Harry. Any headache? Um. Blurred vision. Maybe she went home. Oh, see, I was gonna. I was going for a completely different song, but same thing. I crack my car and go on rage. I don't care. That sounds awful. I know. <laughs> Answer your phone. Right. Come on, Harry. Hi, Lo. Hi, Lo. It's me, Harry. She's like, Harry, aren't you being kind of goofy oh, no. for somebody who was just in a car accident whose daughter is missing? On account of the storm. Maybe that was your little girl. She's seven. She could be trying to call me from home. I need a potential myself. looting? Okay. Is that one scene in Hot Rod where sure she's there. they're like marching hey, all together and it's like, and, I'll meet you over the da, da. and like the nice. very triumphant song is playing and then all of a sudden they start like breaking glass windows and stealing TVs and everybody runs and there's violence. <laughs> looting! Rock. Roll. Mm -hmm. Wanna get a lost? Press O to take out Harry's cell phone. So this... This is a, a thing on the Wii that made a lot of sense is like the cell phone, you like receive voicemails on it when you like complete certain tasks. And on the Wii, it would play through the Wii remote speaker. Mm -hmm. So like you would have to like actually hold the Wii remote up to your head to respond to the, to you know, to hear what was happening. But in this game, they, they make it much easier for you. Well, that's cool. <sighs> oh. Free shit! Mementos. This town is home to many lost and discarded objects. Although these mementos have no practical value or purpose, they once meant something to someone. Yeah, that makes sense. That's uh, a memento. Covering himself with light as with a cloak, stretching out the heavens as a curtain. Psalm 1042. Ooh. I'm taking this. Yes, man. Thank you. God. You imagine just like finding a snow globe while looking for your missing daughter. You're like, oh, that's cool. That's pretty. I'm taking this. Tight. All right, hold on. Uh. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Doesn't do anything. <laughs> um, you can use the camera for actual things, but that's not what we're doing. Where's Cheryl? Shit. I should know where I am. What is wrong with me? What is wrong with you're in Silent Hill now, motherfucker. It's me, Harry Mason. And I do not know what is wrong with me. Please be there. Uh, oh, yeah, so every Silent Hill game famously has, like, a map. And it, most prominently in Silent Hill 2, it's like you, you'd find maps. Like, here's a, a map of the, uh, the apartment building that is one of the sort of levels. As it were. It's not, you know, a classic video game where there's levels, but each sort of dungeon area or whatever. And um, as you find out doors that are locked or doors that are open, um, the map automatically updates with like red squiggles for like, this one's can't be opened or whatever. And like a through arrow for like, you can go here. Right. And it's classic. And then in Silent Hill Homecoming, the worst Silent Hill game next to Silent Hill Downpour, which is the worst Silent Hill game. Um, there was this amazing thing where he gets the map right away, Alex Shepard, the main character. Yeah. And um, it's basically like the town is 95% a cemetery and then 5% just like one big block with a red circle around it that says, my house. Nice. And it's the stupidest thing in the world. So in this game, they supplement that with the, uh, the phone. We got shit. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is That's fine. I gotta go this way. <laughs> so it's Christmas time in the city. Um, we were gonna talk about some of our family's discreet Christmas traditions. Yeah. Um, do, do you want to start or should I jump in? I don't know. You go ahead. All right. So I. Oh boy. 
I think I just need to photograph this. Hey, I found the ghost of a girl. Blah, blah, blah. And I've got a message. Okay, so my family, one of our biggest Daddy, Christmas traditions you. is um, the decorating of the tree. It's a big one. Uh, the tree is very large because the living room has like a high ceiling. And so what we would do is we basically we've got like a trunk full of uh, decorations that have been collected over the many years. One might posit 28 years, give or take, given the age of my siblings. But um, also my folks have things like my mom was a teacher once upon a time. So like her students would um, gift her with. Uh, Christmas ornament, like, uh, she, a student went to Mexico with her family, like, this fucking second grader went to Mexico with her family, and she, uh, brought back these, like, gorgeous sterling silver, like, Mexican Christmas tree ornaments, and they're just, like, part of the collection, you know? Oh, nice. And, um, we would basically set up this super, super, super tall tree, and we'd get, like, a... Ooh, strong emotions have a habit of attaching themselves to objects. Something in this room is interfering with Harry's cell phone. Listen to the whine and hone in on the disturbance. Okay. Ooh. I'm thinking it's gotta be that dress, right? There we go. So, um, we would bring out this big trunk of uh, these ornaments that we've collected over many, many, many years, you know, almost three decades, more than three decades, realistically. And then we would, uh, my mom would sit on the couch and she would like strategically start unboxing the, the ornaments. Yeah. And my dad would put on some classic Christmas music, always starts with Bing Crosby's entire album for White Christmas, like the whole soundtrack for the movie. Um, but, you know, always starting with, I'm dreaming of a white Christmas, because of course. And uh, then we would just like one by one start putting ornaments on the tree and, sure. you know, get a ladder out so that these ornaments Sweet. could go where they You're need okay. to go, higher up. And we just listen to Christmas music Sweet. and have eggnog oh, and on, decorate it. Yeah. Yeah. It was uh, always a nice thing. We're going to get to do it, apparently, this year when we go back. We're going like, to take some ornaments off the tree to Christmas so that we can all hang out and re-ornament the tree. Nice. <laughs> Which I think is adorable. Cute. It's very my parents. Ah. Ah. It's all getting spooky in here. Uh, what about you? Any Christmas Eve, Christmas days? I don't live at home, so like all those Christmas traditions are. And I don't spend Christmas like a long time with my family like you do. Mm -hmm. So we don't have things that we do. Did you have anything like growing up that was like a. Uh, like... Um, I don't know, make a gingerbread house, decorate the tree, you know, just stand and stuff. Right on. Um. Another classic for my family is, like, Christmas games. Not, like, Christmas-specific, but we, like, a lot of games that we would play together were, yeah. like, Christmas-time things. Yeah. And so there's this uh, card game called Anomia. And the way Anomia works is um, things get... Uh, everybody draws a card, right? And the card will have some sort of, like, vague descriptor of a noun. Yeah. So, like... Uh, rock operas, or spices, or parasites. Yeah. And each card has a symbol on it. And there's like, I think, maybe six or seven symbols. And as you're going around the table, once somebody draws a card that has a symbol matching to somebody else's symbol, yeah. you have to say a thing that matches the pronoun descriptor, or the noun descriptor, on the other person's card before they say something that's on your card. Yeah. And if you, whoever does it first gets the card as a point, kind of like Cards Against Humanity. You get right. The, and so it's like, um, I have uh, radio stations 
and you've got scary movies and our symbols match, mm-hmm. I have to say a scary movie before you can say a radio station, and whoever says it first gets the point. Nice. So that's one that we play, and my parents got, like, every expansion pack for it. It's fun. Um, it's super fun. It's a really fun game. But last year, I introduced my folks to the Jackbox games, um, which they are absolutely in love with. So uh, for those of you who don't know about Jackbox games... Uh, basically, it's a game that is central hub controlled on a a console. Oh fuck! That's a monster. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh fuck! QTEs. Anyways, um, it's the whole like game is run on one specific console, and then everybody uses their phones or their tablets or their laptops as a. Uh, Oh, fuck, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, as their controller so that they can interface with the, the game. So there's a lot of, like, you draw something or you... Oh, shit. Uh, you type in an answer or whatever. And then you know, funniest answer wins or best drawing wins or if anybody can guess what you drew, you get the point. That sort of game. And so I introduced my folks to, like, a bunch of those. And they have downloaded even more since. And, like, every now and then I'll just get a text from my mom that's like, yeah, we're playing Jackbox with um, uh, Emma and Ryan, and it's super fun. And I feel like I have imbued, like, a very, uh, I don't know, wholesome celebratory thing for my family, which is always fun. That's fun. That's yeah. nice. They're, they're looking very much forward to playing these with you and I. Very nice. Same here. Yeah, so the game, this game is pretty much broken up into segments where it's um, exploratory segments where you're moving through the world as it exists, like um, what we were just doing where we went to Teresa's dress shop and shit. And then these running segments where you are just trying to get to an end point um, and not get killed by monsters. And so the monsters in this game are called raw shocks. Mm -hmm. And that's really cool because the monsters are the main thing that change when you play the game. Yeah. Like they physically change their appearance as you're playing based on the decisions that you make. And they're called raw shocks, which is sort of analogous to a Rorschach. Okay. So it's like your interpretation of the game is the thing that affects we touched on the how the monsters crash. it's it's cool I, I like it very much nice. um but yeah the, the jackbox games are now like a staple of family affairs talk about... nice. and one other big one that we do now is that that game that ellen generous plays on her show all the time uh heads up or password or whatever yeah where it's like you hold the thing up and and people try to shout things at you to get you to guess what the thing is and then you tip it down if you Uh, got it and you tip it up if you didn't get it or whatever um we basically just like sit in a room and pick a category and like one person goes and we just like try to see how many points we can get it's not competitive at all but it's very fun would you say it takes a while for people to get to know you no i think i really am loud and annoying people because i panic when i meet people but not their family would you prefer to spend time with friends over family? Uh, I would prefer to spend time with Reyna than with some members of my family. So. <laughs> Nothing surprising there. Members no. who will go unnamed for the time being. You're going to like this. On the table are some pencils and a picture. I want you to let out your inner child and color in the picture. It's titled Happy Family. Okay, so straight up, um, this is a goofy thing because you color in this coloring sheet yeah and literally just like how you've colored the sheet dictates what the house the car and the clothes that the people are wearing look like when you go into the cutscene. when you're like hey i think i live here and they're like no you don't so so like watch this i'm gonna he's gonna have blue jeans right oh shit no i'm not done yet you're finished no sorry he's gonna have blue jeans and he's gonna have a purple polo shirt right good luck she's gonna have pink slacks and a pink arm i guess 
and a purple polo shirt. They like to match sometimes, right? Okay. Car, I think bright red for the car makes sense. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Uh, bu a bumper will be black or fender. I don't know, whatever this bit's called. Come on, game. There we go. That's looking more like a car, right? Yeah, classic windows. And finally, let's do bright yellow tires. I don't know if this will actually make the tires go up because that seems insane, but also this is another thing that I think would be infinitely easier on the Nintendo Wii. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what color do you want the house to be? Orange. Orange. Orange house, orange house, orange frickin' house. All right, now what color do you want the roof to be? Okay, I'm liking the spooky vibe here. Uh, light green or dark green? Dark green. Dark green, good pick. All right. That's all pretty good. Come on, there we go. All right, uh, chimney. Still green. Okay. Full thing, Jesus Christ. All right, how about the garage? Uh, light blue? Dark. Or dark blue? Dark blue. Okay. Jesus, that's a blue. Uh, should I make the roof of that green as well so it's congruous? Yeah. Okay. There's a guy. There's a guy. Garage doors. Is there a gray? Uh, no, there's not. I can do black. Do black. All right. Black. And black. There we go. Uh, mailbox, I think, is an important one. Red. Cool. Come on. Jesus. Okay, I'm going to do the front of the house red as well, just because that's kind of like a brick color. Uh, stairs? Any feeling about the patio? Um, I don't know. I'm going to do the door pink. To match her pants, I guess. Uh, brown, maybe? Yeah. Ooh, that is like burgundy. I like it. Just wasn't what I was expecting. And let's do some blue trees. And blue trees. What do you think the bark of the tree, like this, the actual tree of the tree should be? Purple. Good pick. I admire your ambition. Oh my god, there's so many fucking oh shit. It's fine. Everything's fine. Okay, she's purple, and she's purple. And the smoke will be also lime green, because we haven't used her yet. Yeah. Yes. That's a, oh, hold on. This guy. What the snow? somebody threw up. Come on. Oh boy. Playing with fire. God damn it. Yeah! Fuck yeah! Alright. That's it. That's our happy family. Finished. Yes, I am, sir. What a lovely family home. I Is thought so home too. Like this. Eh? Wild. Right? It's such a minor dumb thing. And in the Wii version, it's like you literally have to like curse her over everything. So like you can get splotches of color all over everything you touch, which is super dumb. But um, yeah, it's just like a fun way of like very dynamically expressing that whole like the game is profiling you thing. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Except that door is not pink. It's purple. No, they, but hey, wait, he would. Why are his pants? Are you the okay, wrong son? color. No. What are you people doing in my house? 
Show! This Bill Clinton looking motherfucker. Some trouble, honey? And no, there's Hillary. <laughs> <laughs> this is my house. Well, I don't see how that can be the case. We've been here nearly 14 years. Sure you got the right address? Who was that? That was our daughter, Katie. You're in a bad way, son, getting yourself all worked up. Are you okay? I am not okay. I was in a car accident. My daughter is gone. And you people are in my house. This is all like wrong. The of all this You're starting to make Grimace scene. from the McDonald's Club. Oh, Grimace. Sense. Not at all. Cheryl! You are upsetting my wife. See, this is how I'm a be. Out of my house. It was so robotic. You it's are upsetting my, my wife. It's my damn house. You ready for it? Ready? Cheryl! You're upsetting my wife. My wife. <laughs> my wife. My wife is upset. She's gonna sit on the porch. Like a sad sack. Sybil, Officer Sybil. Harry? There are people in my house. I think they've got Cheryl. Okay, calm down, Harry. It's okay, Mike. I've got this. Hey, problem. Mike, your you know me? mouth is all fucked up. You're part of this? <laughs> Hold up. You saw my license. This is my home. Can I see that license again? I know the Stewarts. They don't have your daughter. They're school teachers. They protect and orphans and they donate to charity. <laughs> trusted you. Damn cops. Don't say anything you're gonna regret later. I'm on your side, Mr. Mason. Come with me and we'll make this right. What do you think the odds are that she totals her car? <laughs> Silent Hill. Nothing good ever happens for Sybil. If the movie is anything to go off of. Yeah. Foisted on her own fiery petard. <laughs> Come on, let's go get this sorted out. You know what's funny? I've been a cop in this town for 20 years. Before that, I used to ride around in my daddy's like patrol car, car, so I know the town, right. know the people. But your face? I don't know you. I keep out of trouble. Not <laughs> tonight. Well, I guess tonight everything is out of whack. Why are we the only car on the road? No one's sane out driving tonight. Sorry, I didn't mean to. <laughs> okay. Nobody's sane out driving tonight, guy who got in a car accident driving tonight. <laughs> we only covered basic meteorology in the academy. Hell, we didn't hear about this till it was happening. Barely had time to close off the major highways. Like the whole town is being punished. It's only weather. That sounds like something sure. that would happen in a town like Silent. <gasps> <laughs> like the entire town's being punished? What? Not in my Silent Hill. <coughs> you okay back there? Sure. Holding up. It's weird to me that I'm she sure doesn't have like a okay. uh, We've just got a clear like a scream. Out. Like sure the way the cop cars do. Yeah, it's like they oh, took a sedan and turned it into a, a cop car. Thing, Harry. Need to get you checked out. Yeah. My dad thought he was tough. He got hit on the head by a punk resisting arrest. <laughs> he was never the same after that. My dad was lobotomized by a punk. You gotta look after yourself, Harry, for your daughter's sake. Point taken. I love that. One thing that I like: the, the game has got this like super low poly. Like you can see the the janky pixels on the side there and stuff yeah. like that. I love that it's framed right on the top and bottom with like the fuzzy, like VHS. Yeah. It's just like, it's cool. Like they went for an aesthetic and they really owned it. Hey, hello, can I leave? Where's she gone? Can I go up here? Hello. What would I even interact with? It's not getting me. Okay. Hmm? Oh, Zoom. Yes, okay. Sorry, Jesus. Okay, that's no good. Oh my god. Do you ever have a... Do you ever ride in a car that had these cranky things? Yeah. God, I hate times. that shit. The old crank. Thick. Got some Hemingway ultralights. Very 
some cigarettes. Uh, cool. And uh, we'll help to... Oh, here we go. Ooh. What's your radio station? It's not giving me anything to interface with. Now I'm the cop. Also. Um, let's get these windows down, huh? God, this doesn't feel good. Is that, did she, is that like lipstick? That's what it looks like. She like Weird. kissed it to get the excess off. Oh, uh, that makes sense. Oh wait, there's a, there's an unlock them bobs. Okay. Yeah. Get me out of here. Fuck you, Sybil! You can't keep me in this car for- Oh, how the- How do you think that happened? We were driving forwards. <laughs> All right. This has been episode one of Silent Hill Shattered Memories with Scott and Raina for the Marathon of Misfit Toys. It's the first Silent Hill game I'm playing and I'm super excited to Playing with Reina. This is the one we're gonna finish. So. You're gonna send him off? Yeah. Thanks for being here. Um, just like and stuff, you know? Like and comment and subscribe. And Say nice things about us. And jump like that deer did. Hit the bell! Tell your friends. It's the ho ho jingleist time of year. It's, I've stopped. This isn't really a Christmas game, but it has Christmas elements like snow. Yeah. That's, so I guess that's why we're playing it. There was a, a bloody disgusting article about uh, horror games that are Christmas themed, and this was like number number four on the list, and I was yeah. like, we nailed it! <laughs> that's the Christmas game. Hatchy-matchy. Welcome. All right, catch us on the next episode.